The murders terrorized the Bay Area decades ago, and the killer taunted police by sending letters to the media. But now a team of independent investigators says it has identified the Zodiac killer. KTV crime reporter Henry Lee joins us now live with some of the new evidence and the doubt that remains. Henry. Heather, for years there have been many people who have been identified as the notorious Zodiac killer, but this group says they've got the right guy. Another man now identified as the infamous Zodiac killer. We have uh, six people that he told towards his last years that he was the Zodiac. Tom Colbert is part of a group called the Case Breakers. He says a task force that includes former FBI agents believes Gary Francis Post is the Zodiac. Post died in 2018. Over the years, many other men have been ID'd as the killer. Hey, everybody has a theory, that's fine. We have evidence that is out the kazoo. It's amazing. I mean, we have tons of evidence. Among that evidence, they say, a shoe size match, court affidavits from witnesses. The Zodiac was tied to at least five killings in the 1960s, including one at Blue Rock Springs Park in Vallejo and others in San Francisco. The group believes Post wrote the coded messages that taunted law enforcement. One tantalizing clue, the killer claimed his name would be hidden in the symbols. His name is Post. He ended it with the stamp and they couldn't figure out his last name. He cleverly used the post markings as Gary Francis Stamp, Post. The group says Post had scars on his forehead from a car crash that matched scars on a sketch of the Zodiac. That is irrefutable. That is a mark that's the same. It's on him all the way to his death at 80 years old. Who are we to say yay or nay? San Francisco Chronicle reporter Kevin Fagan's been covering the Zodiac case for years. He says he's not so sure Post is the right guy. You know, I got an email two weeks ago saying that uh, they found Herb Cain's name in the anagram. So Herb Cain must be the Zodiac. Uh, before that, it was Charlie Manson. Back in December, the FBI confirmed that a Zodiac cipher had been cracked by codebreakers. His message said in part, I hope you're having lots of fun and trying to catch me, and I'm not afraid of the gas chamber. Today, the FBI told me the Zodiac killer case remains open and that there is no new information to share. I got the same response from Vallejo Police and the SFPD. Reporting live, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, no doubt, though, Henry, this new theory bringing a lot of new attention to this case. Henry, thank you.